Welcome to Bathnet's Farmhouse. Today I will be showing you how I mix my lye solution. In this container here I have my freshly frozen goat's milk. I just like to use a little silicone mold, something I have laying around that's easy to pop the cubes out of. Uh, underneath it I just have a bucket of ice to keep the solution nice and cool so the milk doesn't burn. And in here I have my lye flakes that I get from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So to start, I just like to lightly pour a little bit at a time. I don't like to do a whole lot because it's really easy to burn your milk. And I just stir this up a little bit. And I'll do this probably in four different sections. Just lightly stirring, pouring, stirring until all of our lye is incorporated in. As you continue to mix, your lye will start melting your frozen milk. You want to add in your lye nice and slowly to your milk soaps, because if you don't, if you add it in too quickly or all at once, it will actually burn your milk, and then your milk will turn bright orange and will really smell strongly of ammonia. It won't hurt your soap any, but it won't give you that aesthetically pleasing creaminess that a milk soap has. soap you have a slight disadvantage. You can't see any lye crystals that you might have left over. So I always make sure to stir extra long, make sure that everything is nice and dissolved before I add it to my base oils. Slow and steady wins the race when making a milk soap. It's taken about 17 minutes to dissolve everything fully, but we've kept everything at a nice low temperature. Our milk is nice and creamy. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I will be happy to answer them for you. And thanks for watching.